Hi, it's Jill Foster here with Shimmers Paints, and today I'll be creating a card, and I will be mixing and matching different paints and sprays along with stencils and stamping. And here's a look at the card that we will be creating today, and all of the different textures and colors achieved on the background. To create this card, I'm using four different Shimmers products. The first is the Vibe Sprays. These have a beautiful iridescent look. I'm also using the Shimmers Paints, which have a great thick, chunky shimmer to them. The Colorings, which are a flat, vibrant spray, as well as the Dazzlers, which is a texture paste with a shimmer as well. Here's a look at the Penny Black stamps and stencils that I'll be using. And all of the colors of sprays and paints, as well as the exact stamp numbers and names will be listed at the end of the video with a complete supply list. To begin, I'm working on Canson 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm using the Dazzlers. And this is the smooth shimmering texture paste. And I'm gonna apply this through my stencil and I'm starting with the color Spun Sugar. And I'm just going to put this up in the top corner and I'm just spreading that out through the one particular flower. And I just want to make sure it's not too thick of a layer. So I'm just smoothing it out and then I'll lift straight up. And you can see the beautiful shimmer that you get with that texture paste. You'll want to be sure to clean off your stencils right away. And then I also remove any of the excess paste from the edge of the lid so it'll be easy to open the next time I want to use it. And I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe down my stencil. Now I wish I had been more patient and just let this dry on its own before I moved on to add another stencil so I did kind of squish it a little bit and add some extra texture which ended up looking fine as well but uh, I encourage you to have a little more patience than I do <laughs> if possible. So for my second stencil I just want this along on the bottom and I'm using a colored Dazzlers paste and this one is See You in the Morning and I'm just applying that to the polka dot area of the stencil and I'm not worried about getting a perfect application because I do want this background to have kind of a grungy look. So if you heat this up with your heat gun, you will get some bubbling, which is really cool if that's what you're going for. And if you're more patient than I am, then you can just let it dry and it will dry completely smooth with a beautiful shimmer. I'm also adding just a touch of background stamping here. And all of this will be muted down when I add my sprays to the background. Now I'm using the coloring sprays and I have all the exact colors listed at the end. I just roll them between my hands to get things mixed up and ready to go. And then I'm also using one of the Vibe Sprays, which is Sunset Strip. So I have a little bit of shimmer on that background as well. I really like the way you can put these over the Spun Sugar Dazzlers, and you can colorize that however you would like. But you can also see how the colored Dazzlers paste also remains that beautiful color with the sprays over the top. So you have a lot of options. Up here in the corner, I'm just spraying over that stamping with a similar color, so in the end it ends up having a tone-on-tone -tone look. I let that dry, and then I'm going back and adding another layer just to increase the intensity of the color. I always like to start out light and then add more. And I have to say, these backgrounds, these sprayed backgrounds are just so fun. It's so quick and easy, and it's just beautiful. The color, the vibrancy, and then here when I spray this one, since it's vibes, it's going to have some shimmer as well. And you can pat it with a baby wipe if you have you want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to work on my focal point image. So this is a stamp by Penny Black, which I'm stamping in stays on ink so that as I add all my different paints and water, none of the ink will blend or bleed. And I'm going to be painting it with the Shimmers paints. And these you don't need to add any water to activate. You just stir them up. I use just the end of my paintbrush to stir them up. And they have this really great shimmer to them. It's hard to describe. It's just, it's really bold and it has, um, the color is so true, but it's kind of a chunky shimmer. And so you'll see that here as we paint and also in the final. So I'm starting with just working a petal at a time and I'm adding my lightest color. 
which is golden wheat. And while that is still wet, I will add the pumpkin color. And I'm just patting that in, and because it's going into a wet surface, the colors start to bleed together. I added wet wagon down at the bottom, and then I can just add a touch of water to allow those different colors to blend together. I'm working on petals that are not adjacent to each other, that way that the colors won't blend into each other. So I just keep moving around the different flowers, doing the same blending technique with the three colors. And then once that one up at the top is dry, then I can go in and do another petal that's close to it. And you can speed up the process with the heat gun. And then there I go with the water just to finish blending everything together. And I'll do one more petal here. This petal I started out by coloring the whole thing with a touch of water just so it's a little bit more wet when I add the colors to blend. So again, started with the golden wheat, added the pumpkin color, and then the wet wagon. And these three colors are really a nice trio. So once I was finished painting in all of the flowers and the buds and the stems, I'm gonna do the background. So I first applied water, and now I'm putting more of the shimmers paints. This is the Tickle Me Turquoise. And because that is already wet, it allows that to blend really nicely and fade from the color into the lighter, whiter background. Here I'll add the celery for the grass. And I'm also mixing in some of the golden wheat just to give that more of an olive color. And I'll add water to blend. And you can always lighten things up and blend just by dabbing with the baby wipe too. So now I'm going back to my panel and I decided I wanted it to be a little more distressed looking. So this is the coffee shimmers and I'm adding it around the edge of the piece. And I like how that really gets in between the texture that we added and highlights that just a little bit more. And I can add water to dilute it and blend it. And I just keep working with that until I'm happy with the look. And I feel like it has an overall sort of grungy look to the entire background. Once I was done with that and it was dry, just layered on my focal, focal piece and embellished with some twine. And here's a close-up of the Dazzler's texture. It really is beautiful through the stencil and has a lovely shimmer in real life. And a look at those poppies that were painted with the shimmer's paints. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you place an order with Shimmers, be sure to mention my name, Jill Foster, in the Notes to Merchant section for free paint. And this also lets us know that you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more. And stay tuned here at the end of the video is a complete list of all the supplies used on this card.